Uh, in this class, uh, we are going to see something about the uh, software development life cycle. Uh, this is the part of uh, software engineering. Uh, before uh, getting into software development life cycle, just I want to say some basic uh, information about software engineering. Uh, software engineering is a concept of combining both the technical as well as uh, managerial aspects. When I say technical, that is uh, nothing but code writing, uh, debugging, etc. etc. <coughs> when I say manage management aspect, it includes how many number of programmers included, how many number of uh, staffs we need, how much time uh, uh, the software project will take to complete everything we have, we have to discuss under this uh, management aspect. Okay, fine. Now uh, we will discuss about the uh, software development life cycle. This uh, software development life cycle composed of uh, six different phases. Uh, first one is uh, requirement analysis phase. In this uh, requirement analysis phase, uh, the software developer will collect all the informations from the customers. The customer will say about their uh, requirements. Uh, the customers are uh, regularly not very strong in uh, technical aspects. They will provide only the requirements in their own uh, words. In their own words, then from those collected requirements, the developer has to select which one to take and which one to leave. So these are all the things uh, we are doing in requirement analysis phase. Next one is design phase. This is very very vital. After collecting all the requirements and shorting out the needed requirements from the customers, uh, the developer has to develop it in a diagrammatic representation. Uh, several diagrammatic representations are there for converting the customer's request. Uh, in those uh, things, uh, flowchart is an important uh, matter. So by using the flowchart, everything, every collector requirements will be converted into its equivalent diagram. So diagrammatic representation is second one. Third point is coding. After collecting all the requirements and converting the requirements into diagrammatic uh, presentations, the third stage is coding. By using any one language, uh, the, the developer, it may be any developer, it may be any language, a developer who is very familiar with C, C++ or Java can take their own language for converting the diagrammatic representation into its equivalent code. That is the coding concept. Next one is the testing concept. Testing is all about removing the errors or uncovering all the errors from the existing product. So there may be several kinds of tests that will be applied over the software product to remove all the errors. So testing is all about removing the errors from the developed software product. That is the fourth page, fourth stage, sorry. And the fifth stage is implementation. So first uh, collecting the requirements, then diagrammatic representation, then coding. Finally, after uh, applying the testing, the product will be installed in a place where it is going to be used, that is so-called implementation. So it is going to be used where it is actually we want to put in. So there the product will be used, that is coming under implementation. And the final stage is maintenance. So after delivering the product to the market, the maintenance phase comes into act. After delivering the product to the customer, the customer will take the product and they will do any process over the product. They will intimate the negative points, they will intimate the feedback back to the developer so as to improvise the product's performance, to improvise the product design. Everything will be done under the maintenance phase. Maintenance phase uh, normally composed of two things, enhancement and adaptation. When I say enhancement, uh, the developer will improvise the product, that is adding extra features to the product, collected from the uh, customer. That is so-called enhancement. Adaptation. Adaptation in the sense where it is going to be used. In that environment, it has to adapt very properly. So it may be change the environment, the software, but the software product has to give a consistent performance. So that is a very important point here. So that's all. Thank you.